Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Navy Lingo. I'm Jeff Seymour, curator and historian here at the National Civil War Naval Museum. And I am right here at the bow of the CSS Jackson. We rarely get up here on the ship. Maybe we should do so more often to check things out, make sure things are, are going well with the ship as uh, we care for it. Uh, but the bow is the front of the ship. And there's a little bit of, of misinformation out there or some, some contesting viewpoints about where the word bow actually comes from. And it seems to be that this was originally from the Old English uh, tied to Nordic for shoulder. And this is uh, evident in the, in the use of the different spelling of bow, B-O-U-G-H, uh, which is uh, associated with trees. Well, the shoulders were on the front of old boats, and this was a term for the front of the vessel. Uh, sometime in the early 1600s, and it's unclear why or how this happened, but language changes all the time. And we get the word that we're typically used with it today, the spelling B-O-W. So this is the bow of the ship. And the bow of the ship is very different for different types of ships. Uh, the construction techniques, and you gotta think about this, this is, this, this is, this is steam. This is, this is part of that math bit, part of, uh, of the equation. There's a lot of math and science that goes into the building of a ship. So different ships that require different speeds, different strengths and so forth, require different bow structures. So the front of the ship can appear in a number of different ways. And the front of an ironclad, the bow of an ironclad is structured so as this particular one, so that it can withstand striking another vessel. The Jackson and many of the other casemated ironclads that the South produced actually have rams on the front of it. Uh, such as the Virginia, and the Virginia used that ram in the famous battle at Hampton Roads. Uh, it broke off inside the U.S. warship there and almost took the Virginia down with her. So a lot of these ironclads, the southern casemated ironclads, are built very strongly with, that, with reinforcements up front at the bow. So here you have the bow, the front, and if you want to think about it, what does a performer do at the end of a performance? Takes a bow. So you're putting the head and shoulders right out front. And ladies and gentlemen, that's another one of our pieces of lingo here at the National Civil War Naval Museum.